Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking about how to create a detail page and list page in your app and how to set it up in Bravo Studio so that when you tap on a list item, it opens the detail page with the related content. So we'll show you that today. So here we have a list request set up. After you press send, go down to uh, the response list and make sure that you select all next to data records. This will select the entire column rather than a specific row. Also make sure that you select the ID because this will be what we will use later to connect the detail page to the list item. And then you can go ahead and select all the data records that you want to add in your app screen. When you want to connect an image from Airtable to your app, make sure you select the data record field that ends with URL. After you've selected all the data that you want to display in your app, go to the selected output and review the data records that you've selected. Then locate the one that says data records ID and change the label to just ID. This will be used later in the detail page request. Now we're going to set up our detail page request. So similarly to the list request, you can find the request URL in your Airtable API documentation. We are also going to copy the same authorization and bearer API key token from the list record into your detail page request. Press send, and now you can select all the data records that you want to display but in your detail page in the app. The important part of the detail page request is the parameters. So in parameters, in the key input, we're going to type in ID exactly the same way that we did in the list record. And then in the value input, we are going to paste the actual data ID of your Airtable. This ID should also match the string that you see in your request URL. But we're going to remove your ID from the request URL and replace it with the text string that you see in the screen. And make sure that what is between the braces is exactly what you typed in in the key value of the parameters. Now press send again, and you'll see that what you've selected before in the response list is still staying checked. Then go to select the outputs, locate the row that says data ID, and notice that here the label says ID, but with I in uppercase. We're going to adjust that so that it matches exactly, again, the key value of your parameters. Also verify that the ID string under sample content matches the ID that you've input in parameters. Now we'll go to our app project and start connecting our data with our design. Click into the page for your list design and select the collection and request that you just set up for your list records. Click add content to start selecting the Figma layers. The first step is to select the container from the Figma file and bind it to records from the data library. Once that's selected, you'll see a plus sign appear below. Click on the plus sign and add all the visual elements within that container into this binding setup. Accordingly, bind each visual element to the respective data that you want to display. Now that our list page is set up, we'll set up the detail page. The difference here is when you go to select the Figma layers, you can go ahead and select the individual visual elements without selecting a container first. Because here, they will display only one data record at a time rather than the entire list of it.
Now we've set up our list page and our detail page, and you can preview how your app looks by scanning the QR code with Bravo Vision. So in this app, you can see that our list page is now populated with the data from my error table. And whichever list item that you click into, it will show the respective data from that row. Likewise, you can connect multiple tables to the same app via multiple requests.